you know the new recall feature in windows yeah i mean nobody wants to use it it is probably the most hated feature on windows most people just don't want to use this okay including me i don't want to use this feature but luckily this feature isn't available for all users look at the system requirements for recall a copilot plus pc basically this feature is only available in new copilot plus pcs you don't have to worry if you have a normal x86 pc right right no you're wrong okay so <laughs> recently people have been talking about the recall a lot i think the chris titus found out that the recall is actually available in windows 11 24h2 and it is enabled by default plus there is no way to disable it at least from the gui you know settings or something like that you can disable it uh using like these commands actually let me show you guys i also didn't know about this okay uh let's run the command prompt you have to run it as administrator okay or you can also use the uh, powershell i just use the command prompt here look at this feature recall uh, display name also recall state enabled what is this <laughs> okay so this is kind of crazy if you go to the official blog post of recall you can clearly see the system requirements for recall a copilot plus pc this isn't a copilot plus pc this is just normal intel x86 or 64-bit pc but it looks like starting from the windows 11 24h2 this feature is somehow is in the normal x86 pcs too the crazy part is we don't know where it is on the system okay plus you can't get rid of this you can only disable it you can get rid of this using some you know tools like the chris titus tool you can create a lightweight windows version using the micro win option but that breaks the explorer i don't want to use the recall feature no matter what people say okay so having this on system is just useless it's going to take some storage plus some resources and all that so it's best for me or anyone who don't want to use this feature to get rid of it okay you can do that but it breaks the file explorer so basically you can see <laughs> after removing this feature he got like old version of file explorer so basically somehow uh, it looks like this recall feature is available in non-copilot plus pcs too and it is enabled by default but you can disable it so this is the command to disable it run the command prompt or powershell as admin and after that put this in here and hit enter now it's gonna disable that let's run that command one more time the first one which oh it's oh it, it takes a couple of seconds like wow is this like the big some like big feature it took a couple of seconds to disable wow operation completed successfully <laughs> okay so let's run this get info option now it says state disabled and to enable it you can run this third command which I don't think i'm gonna use because i want this thing to be disabled if possible i want this thing to be removed he did a update video to microsoft recall update just recently 17 hours ago in his opinion the chris titus he thinks that this is some kind of a dependency for file explorer if you try to get rid of this it's gonna break the file explorer in my opinion i think he's right okay the recall feature is actually if you if you know what it does on copilot plus pcs i think it is a part of file explorer uh, where you can you know explore your you know the screenshots that it takes and everything so it is actually in my opinion again uh, a part of a file explorer which can be disabled if you have a copilot plus pcs uh, by going into these settings if you go and try to find this setting in normal pcs you don't have this option but somehow even on normal pcs the recall feature is enabled and it's here and we don't really know much about this for now all we know is that it's here and it cannot be removed it can only be disabled 
only if you run these commands. There is no GUI or settings to disable it. I think Microsoft is preparing recall for all PCs. That's why we have this feature. Maybe recall in normal PCs is some kind of a trigger to enable this feature in future whenever it's ready for all types of PCs. Again, I don't want to use this feature. Okay, so I'm gonna disable it. I just found out about this. This is just more bloat. Okay, for me, absolute bloat. This is not even a optional feature now because look at this. It is installed and enabled by default and you can't get rid of it. If you do, it's gonna break the, some system features like the file explorer, maybe some other things too. But for now, we know that it breaks the file explorer. Microsoft didn't even say anything about the recall on Windows 11 24H2. We all thought that this is only a Copilot plus thingy. Yeah, I mean, you can see clearly see here re system requirements for recall. It clearly says that you need a Copilot plus PC. Maybe it's a cool feature, but it's not like necessary feature okay it's just a bloat yeah <laughs> that's it for this one i'll put link in the description for the chris titus videos you can go there and watch his video and get his opinion and learn more about this thanks to him now we know that recall feature is in all pcs nobody is safe it's not fully functional maybe yet but something is there i mean we can clearly see recall is here i don't know what it does how much space or resources it uses in the background. We don't know nothing about it. Maybe in future slowly, yeah, we'll know. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. For now, I have it disabled. So if you also want to disable it, you can go and uh, put these commands in the command prompt. Make sure to run it as administrator. Yeah, that's it. Again, I don't want to use this feature, so I have it disabled. If possible, maybe in future we'll be able to get rid of this altogether. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something on the recall feature, yeah, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.